Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to put together some of this like footage that I have just laying around from the last year. Um, your last update was we bought the land, closed in July, and there wasn't a whole lot of update other than like us just kind of cleaning up the property and doing the initial uh, desktop, I guess I'll say review of like, what can we do out there? How far away is power? Uh, you know, getting some general quotes from contractors to do work that we is like out of our league. That's what we did a lot um, in 2021. Uh, this year, we've gotten a little bit further. We've closed on our construction loan, so it's great. It's a um, kind of a goofy process because we did have to pay closing cl costs twice because we had a regular mortgage on the land and then closing costs for the construction loan. They are combined now. Um, and I can talk more about that if anyone cares about that, but it's just the boring stuff. With the construction loan, we knew that there was gonna be some work that we wanted to do ourselves. Chris is super frugal, so he ended up renting um, some machinery to dig in the driveway. We were originally quoted like $15,000 and it blew our minds. So Chris dug in a driveway, uh, it goes all the way to the back of the property and has a nice little flat spot in the, in the middle property for just parking and, and hanging out or whatever. We, like I mentioned before, were super excited to have found a septic system on site that the seller was not even aware of. Um, pulled some records from the county, tried to figure out where it was. Uh, the documents that showed where it was was basically like drawn on a napkin. GIS coordinates, who are they? Don't know her. Uh, we spent days like straight up like holes, digging up them holes, just trying to find the full septic system. It was a nightmare, hand digging. Uh, we did find it and we had someone come out, inspect it. Septic tank was fine and in working order and didn't need to be replaced, but the drain field had been uh, taken over by rodents and what have you. So we will have to replace the septic or the drain field. So we had that included in our construction loan just for that. So good news, bad news situation there. Uh, last year, a lot of the work was creating the driveway, um, laying down that like fabric, landscape fabric, and making an area for us to park in the back and then getting a gravel delivery. So we used um, a couple different um, little backhoe machiney things. Uh, actually kind of fun. It's like the ultimate claw game machine. <laughs> um, pretty cool. So we did a lot of the flattening out with those that we just rented from a, a place in uh, in town and, and over in Hood River too. We also did some tree thinning um, just to have some areas in the forest so everyone could hang out in, as you can see, it like gets super sunny out there in the summertime. So having a nice little flat spot in the woods to hang out was ideal. That stuff. And then applying for our uh, construction permit, which we got. Uh, it was a little weird because we wanted that construction permit to have that to go ahead, but we don't obviously have a well out on site yet. So we kind of had to do like a conditional um, agreement saying like, yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead with the placement even before, prior to having a well out there, just knowing the risks that are associated with that. Um, so we got that, uh, ended up getting the notice of intent uh, through Washington State to do a drill. There's a whole bunch of permits that. <laughs> um, so yeah, at the end of last season, how we basically left the land, we had um, a long driveway from the private road to our little flat parking spot. Chris got a guy to actually come out and um, deliver a bunch of gravel and he was really nice enough to kind of lay it out in in increments throughout the property so we really didn't have to do a whole lot of like after care or after work for <laughs> that stuff um so it was really fun doing all you know all the little work that we could thinning and um on the driveway and bringing pollo up there he <laughs> is obsessed with hanging out up there He's definitely getting into a lot of things. We actually had a run in with a skunk last year. Um, I say we, it was Poyo. Poyo found a skunk. It was, it was a, it was an ordeal. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that going, uh, driving home to the trailer with him back in the Underwood. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. I'll just leave it there. So 
last year, just a lot of the little work that we were able to do, we tried to do ourselves. And we just try to put in that like work to figure out like, hey, how much is X, Y, and Z going to cost? And after we closed on that construction loan, a lot of the things that we were concerned about or whatever, it's not that big of a concern. We ended up having like all of our different contractors that we're going to go with give us their highest estimates, which is good because um, now with how everything is going, the price of Pretty much everything is still going up which is really annoying you'd think because timber price is going back down that hey maybe the price of timber is going down no it's not so whatever we don't care about that <laughs> we got all of our contractors to do the high-end quotes so that's what we went with um when we brought everything to umqua to say hey here's our construction loan packet we went on the high end with everything and you know that's was approved and they gave us the money for that. So basically what happens with the construction loan now is um, when we are ready to pay for say like click attack power to come out and do their work, we make a draw from our construction loan and use that to pay them. So it's kind of like a, just a crazy big credit card. That's <laughs> weird. Um, just has a couple extra steps throughout, which is fine. Two thousand years later. All right, so not really two thousand years later. It felt like two thousand years later, um, but here's the next year. We're in twenty twenty two. Woohoo! Uh, enjoy this little clip of me scaring Poyo for some reason, and then just not realizing that. It, of course, you'd need something to stick the GoPro on. It's obviously just gonna fall, and uh, that was hilarious. Okay, uh, ten points if you guess what song I was singing. So I wanted to go up there immediately this spring just to see what the um, what our driveway looked like. We have had a couple uh, contractors drive up there since then with their big trucks, and you know, of course, there's going to be some like saddling and squishing of the driveway just because it's not it's not getting drive on all the time. Um, up at the top of the property, the ground is a little mushy right now. Um, it's been raining quite a lot, but we're expecting some sunny days soon. So hopefully everything kind of dries out because we can't really have anyone work on <laughs> the drain field or site prep, you know, any of these things because right now their car, if they go out there, it's just gonna get stuck and that's gonna be really embarrassing for everyone involved. We did get a porta potty delivered up there and it kind of looked like the guy got a little bit stuck where he delivered it. We weren't there when he delivered it, but yeah, it's just better to wait until it dries out a little bit more, which is just so crazy because last year when we were digging for the septic tank, goodness gracious, it was so hard. It felt like I was, we were literally digging like in the movie, the holes. Okay. So anyways, that's where we're at right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.